Let me start by stating The Last of Us Part 2 is not a one-star game. People who rate it that way are hyper-focusing on a specific flaw instead of objectively looking at the game in its entirety. There is a lot this game does well. In fact, apart from the story and the multiplayer, it seems clear that The Last of Us Part 2 improves on most elements of the prequel. These enhancements include new enemy types, techniques like dodging and going prone, new items and weapons, tons of customization, better controls, better puzzles, and a significantly longer story. The only problem is that The Last of Us franchise made its name by having the best story the industry had ever seen. And there are enough issues, including awful driving actions, unlikable characters, and a confounding ending that make the story far inferior to part one. It's kind of like going to a sporting event at a new stadium with comfier seats, better tasting beer, and the world's biggest jumbotron, but then watching your team lose in the final minutes. I don't want to be overly critical of the story, as the voice acting was strong, and there were some interesting twists and heart-wrenching scenes. It's important to realize that the story would be less maligned had the prequel not existed. However, given that plot and narrative are the franchise's main attraction, and deducting one point for mistreatment of doggos, I'm giving The Last of Us Part 2 an ERG rating of 86. Do let me know what you think in the comments below, and feel free to recommend the next game deserving an ERG rating. Last but not least, do please like and subscribe if you found this review enjoyable and would like to support me creating additional content. Thank you all so much, and I hope to see you again soon.